Hey, what's up guys? It's Steve and I wanted to sit down and chat a little bit about our League of Legends roster for next year. As many of you know, uh, Team Liquid has had kind of an incredible few years of growth across a lot of different esports. And in League of Legends, we obviously made substantial investment into rebuilding the team and incredibly successful, right? Our first year of going to Worlds, we won back-to-back -back championships. We kind of accomplished what we set out to do because we came from a place in 2017 where there was, you could only go up from there, right? And I think this year with Cloud9 making it to semifinals and you know, Fnatic making it to the finals, it's like, yeah, I think we can do it. Like, period, the end of story. Like, I'm tired of thinking that a North American team can't make it. So that is what was, I think, the inspiration for making some changes to the roster. We achieved quite a bit. Um, and many will probably think that these changes are uh, not maybe the best, given our success. You know, like, why not just try again? But for me, I wanted to level up. I wanted to evaluate every possible option that was out there, including Faker. <laughs> you know, like, why not? So we put together a really, really good team of people to look at this and analyze it from every perspective, like mentally, emotionally, psychologically, financially, um, statistically. And through all that analysis, uh, we put together kind of our rosters that we wanted um, and I wanted. Poe Belter, while um, an incredible, incredible player. Amazing to listen to, amazing to watch, incredibly consistent, such a good person, and a joy to work with, again, after so many years. But our contract uh, expired, and so uh, we had to look at other options. And the one that we decided on is Jensen. So uh, Jensen's been playing with Cloud9 for the last four years. Uh, he's an incredible player, he's proven that. He has incredible in-game statistics over the last four years, like in the top five for mid laners in, you know, in the world, from my perspective. Um, and he also has really good efficiency with the gold that he earns in games. And he has, I guess, more simplistically speaking, like a lot of carry potential, you know, and does a lot with his leads. And so we're really excited about that. I think this is a, a, an amazing acquisition for the team. Um, we purchased the contract from Cloud9, so he'll be continuing with Team Liquid for the duration of his contract. And yeah, so <laughs> that is, uh, that's announcement number one. So announcement number two. Ole has been an incredible, infectiously charismatic and friendly heart of the team. Uh, he's an adorable person with good work ethic and incredible ability. It lacked a little bit in terms of consistency in his play. And what we're looking for is kind of a rock in the dual lane with double lift and also in terms of team play. And for us, we would only make a change if it was a significant upgrade. And Ole is already incredible. So we had a very short list uh, to evaluate. And of that list, we decided to go with Core JJ. So Core JJ has been in the US before. He speaks English and Korean. He has proved himself. He was, I think, one of the most consistent players on Gen G during Worlds. And he's good. We all know that. Like He's really good. And I think this brings a level of consistency in the laning phase. And his in-game shot calling is actually really good and creative. So. I'm just, I'm so excited <laughs> about having Core JJ on the team. So uh, he'll be signing a three-year contract with us, uh, which is incredible. And I'm just so, like, it just gets me really worked up and like, let's just have the season start already. Uh, so I mean, I'm, I'm incredibly excited about it and I hope you are too. To all the Team Liquid or Team Curse fans from back in the day, for the last six years, there's probably one thing that you've come to learn about myself. And that is, you know, we take risks, we push ourselves. Uh, it's part of, I guess, the liquid DNA at this point. We are really pushing the envelope in terms of really achieving a world championship. That is the goal. And that's what I believe has been put together this year. So I appreciate your support and following the team. Yeah, I just love you guys. You're, you've been amazing through all the ups and downs. And I know it's been 
incredibly rewarding uh, to all of the Curse fans and TL fans that kind of had to suffer through so many fourth place finishes. It's been great and it will get better. We're going to be publishing a bunch of really awesome news across our socials uh, over the next couple weeks, so make sure that you're following if you want to get that information as soon as possible. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram Story, and then also our YouTube channel, so uh, stay tuned. And then also, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And all of the TL fans out there, I hope that we can do you proud and do a lot of winning this year. So thanks. Bye.